Frank, it's Dorian Lord again. Get back to me, will you, please? Thank you. Dorian, have uh, you seen Jack this morning? I checked his room. It's like a tornado hit. Well, that's nothing unusual. Well, he's nowhere to be found. Honey, I haven't seen him, but I heard him. He really? slipped out of the house early this morning. No way. I mean, he... He hates getting up early. I mean, he's usually the last one out of bed and he just waits forever. Are you sure? Why don't you call him? No, because then I'll look like some hysterical mother. I'm not going to do that. It's a little late to close that barn door. Fine. Jack! Oh, thank God. Where are you? I'm at the coffee shop. I came here early to uh, do my homework. Well, listen, given the threat that we are under, young man, you know, you really need to tell me where you are at all times. Honestly, I got caught up in what I was doing and completely lost track of time. Hmm. Yeah, so how was your flight? Cool, cool. Was your mom surprised to see you? <laughs> I bet. That's awesome. Well, tell her I said happy birthday. And while you're at it, ask her what she had for breakfast. No, 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 I'm kidding. Please, no, please don't tell her that. <laughs> no. I can't believe this is still going on. I know. At least we know she's real now. That's progress. Is it? She's lied so many times, she could be anyone. I'm with you. Trust me. <laughs> hey, maybe we should just, for him, try to give her a chance, you know? <sighs> no, no, no. No, they're right here. Hold on. Uh, Michelle says hi. Hi, I'm I'm Michelle. Sure. So, what'd you tell your mom about us? I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. They were just jealous. <laughs> Trust me, what he's got, I don't want. Hello? Oh, hi, Arturo. Yeah, of course I remember. How are you? I gotta tell you, Red, I am really surprised at you. Why? Since when do you get your undies in a twist over anything that Dorian says? <sighs> well, normally I wouldn't, but this is Vicky, and she could be in serious trouble, and you know Dorian. She smells a drop of blood in the water, and she goes in for the kill. All right. What exactly did Dorian say? All right. Last night, mm -hmm. Vicky and I are having dinner, and Dorian comes up to the table, and she starts saying how sorry she was that Vicky lost all her money in the Pellegrino Fund. That sounds fairly innocent. This is Dorian we're talking about. Nothing's innocent with her. She's like a wolf in designer clothing. She was gloating. Yeah, but didn't Vicky take all her money out of that? Did. Well, then, what is the problem? <clears throat> After you left this morning, Dorian calls me, and she's ranting on and on and on about how what Vicky did might not have been exactly kosher. Since when is any of this Dorian's business? In fact, since when is this any of your business? It's Dorian's business because Dorian makes everything that Vicky does her business. And it's my business because Dorian has suggested that what Vicky did was a crime. And if it is, it's a serious one. I don't understand. You called Natalie? No, no, no. I went over to her place. I'm surprised she let you in. Yeah, well, she didn't want to believe me, but we Buchanan men can be rather persuasive. Yes, I am all too aware of that. And I would like you to know that I apologized for what I did. I, I can see now that what I did was way over the top. Over the top? Clint, it was cruel. Please don't ever forget that. Natalie forgave me, and I was hoping you would too, so things can be okay between us. I've had better days. I'm in Brianna's suite, sorting through her things. That's, that's got to be really hard for you. It is. There are a lot of memories here. Good ones. 
makes you take her shopping a lot. Well, I mean, do you have to go through her things so soon? I do, unfortunately. Unless I want this room to turn into a lonely shrine. Yeah, I see your point. Um, I, I mean, is there something I can help you with? I hope I'm not imposing. This is really difficult for me. I was wondering, is there any chance you could give me a hand? By helping me sorting through her things. I'll be right there. Bye. <laughs> Who's that? Uh, just some part-time work I'm doing. Oh. Michelle's so funny. I swear I could hear her Canadian accent coming through the phone now she's back. <laughs> it's hilarious. Have to get ready. Hey, you still, uh, you still think I'm making a big mistake with her, don't you? Honestly, Matthew, you seem really happy. Who might argue with that? Hey, honey, you know what? I wish that I had the time to just sit here and analyze Dorian's latest uh, Machiavellian scheme, but you, I'm right in the middle of a murder investigation. What, the overdose at the Palace Hotel? That's it, the OD. Really? Mm hmm You want to run it by me? <laughs> no. Come on, no. Not till I have more to go on. Okay, well then just do me a favor. Give me, just give me a little bit of time here. I need some advice, Bo. Listen, Vicky's my friend. She's my good friend. But I, I can't turn my head and look the other way if she's breaking the law, can I? Did Vicky say anything incriminating? No. Okay, then what's the problem? If she got out of the fund, she might have had insider information, and she might have done something very illegal. What did you just say? It had way too many mites in it for me. Look, you want my advice? Yes, I do. Good. Stay out of it. Really? Yeah. Will you just call Clint? Ah, no, I... seriously, he might have known. How, he might know how the whole thing went down. All right, I'll call him. Thank you. Okay. All right. Where are you headed? I'm going to Dorian's house. Listen, she is like a dog with a bone. She's not going to let this go. I have to talk to her before she literally makes a federal case out of this. Yeah, yeah, listen. Take a strand of garlic and maybe even a wooden stay, okay? Because, hey, <laughs> you never know. So where's David this morning? He's probably passed out in that hideous man cave he built for himself with my money. Oh, no. What's going on between the two of you? Something? Something? I do not appreciate this uh, flirtation that he is having with that, that exotic floozy who works for you. Who are you talking about? Rama, Rama Ding Dong. Rama, Dorian, she's no threat to you, okay? <sighs> she flirts with everybody and she's happily married. Okay, well, I'm yeah. certainly not gonna lose any sleep you over shouldn't. it. <laughs> Besides which, I've got more important things on my mind. Uh-oh, like what? Like, some people should not break the law and be allowed to get away with it. Thank you. Would you excuse me, dear? You know, it's really hard to forget what you did. You tried to destroy a relationship that she cares so much about. Sometimes I do things without thinking. I'm working on that. That's why I need you. You make me better every day. Well, if that's the case, it's exhausting work. Vicky, what do you say we just forget about all of this and get into the limousine and go to New York City, have a nice dinner and check into a great hotel? Here we go again. I'm really, really glad that Natalie forgave you. But what you did, it upset me, Clint. It really upset me, and I guess I just don't get over things that easily. So you want to know if everything is good between us? No, I don't know if it is. <clears throat> Nora, it is so good to see you. <laughs> Thank you. Let me make you a cup of coffee. Oh, that's okay. I won't be staying. I, and as a matter of fact, I'm, I'm late for work as it is. And I, to be honest, don't understand why you didn't just come to my office. Because I wanted privacy. Okay. And, mm. 
So, um, what can I do for you, Dorian? Please sit. Sit? Sit. Sit. Okay. <sighs> Again, Dorian, how can I help you? As you're aware, I know that Vicky invested in that fund. Oh, the Pellegrino Fund, yes. yes. But yeah, the whole world knows of its spectacular demise. How did you know that Vicky was an investor? Oh, it's public knowledge. Ah, and your point? If Vicky pulled her money out of the fund a mere few days before it was frozen, wouldn't that be securities fraud? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Dorian, I, I, I know that there has been bad blood between the two of you now for... Well, over many years, but I really have to ask, why is this any of your business? Oh, it has to be. It's my responsibility, in fact. If you see something, say something. It's my civic duty. Oh, okay. So, what exactly is it that you want from me? I want you to open an investigation. Because if you don't, I'd be forced to go directly to the SEC. And it might make trouble for you, too. Me? Mm -hmm. What does it have to do with me? If you have direct knowledge of a felony and you do nothing about it because the person is a member of your family... Okay, Doreen, my direct knowledge just happened this morning from you. Take it from me. You better choose sides. This is going to get ugly. Mm-hmm. Is that an accusation? Plant, you're being defensive. I'm just asking if what Nora told me is true. Like what? Like Vicky and I are some sort of white-collar Bonnie and Clyde? No, Nora just told me that uh, Vicky pulled her money out of Pellegrino and then days later the whole fund folded. And there are some people who would see that as suspicious behavior. Well, some people might call it good timing, Bo. There's no hanky-panky involved here. That's all I wanted to hear. I gotta go. Yeah. Boss, this is Jason Murray. Ah, please. Great. Come on in. Come on in, please. Uh, sit down. Bruce, could you wait for us outside, please? Okay, I'd like to just get right down to business. Absolutely. You were probably one of the last people to see Brianna Marlin alive, so I would like you to just walk me through your last night with her. We met for drinks at a bar called Shelter. Now, was this a date or... Uh business meeting? Yeah. Let's call it a date. Right. What was her state of mind? I don't know what you mean. I mean, did you notice anything unusual about her behavior? Was she anxious? Was she paranoid? She seemed perfectly normal. She was a lovely girl. Vivacious, fun to be around. Oh, yeah, as long as someone else is paying the bills. Then. What are you implying, Commissioner? Nothing. Unless, is there something else that you wanted to tell me? No. Nope. Did you see her do any drugs? No, I don't go in for that kind of behavior. Point noted. How did your date end? I dropped her off at the hotel. Did you walk her up to the room? Why do you keep asking me these questions? I read in the paper she died of an overdose. Well, yeah, but see, I'm just trying to cover all my bases. That's all. I just want to know. Did you accompany her up to her room? No, I went to O'Malley's, an Irish pub I frequent in Chesterton. Hmm. A couple of dozen people saw me there. The last time I saw Brianna, she was safe and sound in her hotel room and very much alive. Okay. But didn't you just tell me that you didn't walk up to her room? <laughs> yeah, I didn't go in. I accompanied her upstairs and walked her to her door. We both remarked on what a good time we had and kissed goodnight. Well, that sounds to me like a, just a lovely date. It does. But <clears throat> she didn't invite you in. I didn't want to spend the night. Okay, so you didn't have sex with her? No. So did that piss you off? Here you had her on this date, you spent all this money on her, and all of a sudden she doesn't give you the happy ending. You know what? I just... I don't like what you're insinuating. Well, you know what? I don't like it much either, but I got a dead girl here. And you seem to be the last person who actually saw Brianna alive. 
and right now you're being very vague on your answers to me, which, which then I have to ask, what the hell is this guy hiding? I did not kill that girl. These are some really nice things. Brianna had a wonderful sense of style. I wish I knew her better. Um, where do you want me to put these? Just set them on the sofa. Housekeeping said that we're gonna send some laundry back. Oh. Oh, this is so gorgeous. I love these colors. Yeah. That looked great on Brianna. I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't mean to bring up painful memories. No, no, no. They're they're good ones, actually. We should keep this. See. Looks great on you. As a matter of fact, you just take anything you want. No, that's okay. I, I kind of think it would be a little weird for me. Got it. Yeah. But I, I can definitely handle um, bagging up these clothes. I'll take them to Goodwill. Thank you. You're very sweet. I just really wasn't up to it. You've been very kind. Uh, uh, yeah. no, no, oh no, I can't. No, it was my pleasure. You sure? Go on. No. <laughs> Buy yourself something nice. You're a beautiful girl. You deserve nice things. No, really. Thank you, I can't. Switch yourself. Well, thank you very much for being so kind. Sure. Beautiful girl. You deserve nice things. Who is it? Housekeeping. Michelle? Danny. What are you doing here? Uh, I was... Help... What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be in Toronto? Um, Why don't you come in? This is so... humiliating. Why? Because you're with housekeeping? Who cares? I care. Please. Don't tell Matthew about this. I, I don't want him to know. You know, I, I don't find a big deal in this, but I do find a very big deal in you lying to him. I had to. He, he can't know what I do for a living. He wouldn't understand. I, I think you're underestimating him just a little bit. <sighs> I had to tell him I had some insurance job. It seemed classier. That sounds pretty boring to me, but hey, it's your imaginary job. You can't tell him about this. I really, I, I don't enjoy lying to my friends. You don't have to, just don't say you saw me. Fine. You know, you should really work on your um, catching a man strategy, because it really sucks. I, I know. Thanks. Sure. Um, <clears throat> Are you gonna leave those bags? Oh, uh, of course. Bye. Hey, oh, this, uh, this came for you. Sweet. Did you open it? Yeah. I was curious. Hell, oh, dude. My bad. You didn't open a letter. What the hell is that? Did you get accepted to Hogwarts? It's a letter from Professor Dumbledore, isn't it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's from my friend Carl Peterson. What's it say? He's coming in a couple days. Uh, he's not staying here, is he? 
No, no, you came me super rich. You could buy the Palace Hotel if you wanted. Hell, you could buy this whole town. How do you know him? He's, uh, he's always been my mentor and my benefactor. You know, he's the guy who sent me to school in London. Oh, right. So we have him to thank for our entire friendship. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Nora, I am quite convinced that somewhere in Dorian's house, there's a dartboard with my face on it, and it's full of darts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I would doubt that. I'm sorry to bother you with this. I just really thought you should know. No, 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 thank you. Thank you. You're a very good friend. Always nice to know when the fox is circling the hen house. Um, Vicky, she's threatening to go to the SEC. And she also said that if I didn't investigate, I'd be guilty of a cover-up. Oh, my God, she's off her rocker. I know, but... Clint has assured me that there's absolutely no problem. Okay. All right, okay. Vicki, <clears throat> do you trust Clint? I don't know. It's a question I've asked myself a lot the last few days. Well, then, if I were you, I would change the locks in the hen house. <laughs> Understood. Bye-bye. Bye. Was that Nora? Yes, yes, it was. She came by to tell me that Dorian seems to think that I withdrew my funds from the Pellegrino Fund before it was frozen. And she wants Nora to investigate. Well, there's nothing to worry about. Your money never made it into the fund. I have to tell you, okay, that I am still not completely comfortable with your explanation about the money and the Pellegrino fund. And I just need to know that you're not keeping anything from me. Vicki, I swear to you, you are in the clear. Okay. Because if you were keeping something from me, this ring would go right in the nearest link. I never accused you of killing Brianna. I'm just trying to get some straight answers. Why is it so damned hot in here? Did you have sex with her or not? I told you I didn't. But who cares? Sex isn't illegal. Yeah, but it is if you're paying for it. See? You weren't on a date. You were consorting with a prostitute. Look, I, I took a girl to dinner. I did not screw her. Mm. You're married, aren't you? Yes. Are you going to call my wife? No, no, no. See, that's your dirty little job. But we have a potential homicide here. I would think that you would want to be much more cooperative. I'm trying my best, Commissioner. But if you're arresting me for solicitation, I want a lawyer. Otherwise, I'm going home. What? No, you're free to go. Oh. Hey, Bruce! Why don't you come in here and escort Mr. Murray out? You might want to fix your air conditioner. Listen to me. I'm checking out your alibi, and if it doesn't hold up, I'm coming after you. And when I do, the gloves will be off. Can I go now? on the next One Life to Live. Who's that woman you're with? You know who I'm with? What happens to Natalie stays at Natalie's. I had to find you and um, tell you the truth. But the man you love has betrayed you. And you have been so besotted with love that you haven't even noticed. One Life to Live. Just see.